You are watching an Al Bear review. Cue the music. <laughs> What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm here with the Ambitions Recap. Um, if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Everybody be sure to like, comment, share. <clears throat> All that good stuff. Man, let me just jump right into it, man, because it's late and I'm trying to, to go chill, man. But uh the episode, this week episode wasn't really all that, you know what I'm saying? But maybe as I start talking, I might start talking myself into it being like a great episode, you know what I'm saying? So, anywho, the show kicks off with um, Amara and Damon Cross. Damon trying to call it a truce, tell her that, you know what I'm saying, he's just there for work. He ain't really trying to, you know, go down memory lane and all that type of stuff. And yada yada yada, you know what I'm saying? Um, which is BS. Um, because and you know, I'll be honest, man. Excuse me, I say this every review for this show. It's just like, you know, at the end of the show, you know, we see that he got surveillance cameras set up in their house. Like, I'm, I'm just not here for it. So I'm gonna be real quick with the whole Damon Cross story until I get to the point where Titus go off on her. You feel me? So, anyways, um, I'm more gonna uh, ask her both. Basically, you know what I'm saying? Why is Damon Cross there? You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, but And I'm getting my words messed up. But basically, you know what I'm saying? Keep him out of her cases. Then, you know what I'm saying? He pops up talking about something. You know what I'm saying? They can work together. They work well as a team when they was back in Alabama and all that good stuff. And so yada, yada, yada. And so later on in the show, she did a little digging. Called back to the uh, <clears throat> Birmingham office or whatever to see you know, why did he transfer, uh, you know, all that type of stuff. Basically, she came on empty. <clears throat> so, I don't really care nothing about that. So, anyways, um, she go home and Titus, Titus spazzing out, going off on her, telling her she need to find a way to get rid of him. He don't need to be there. He gonna ruin X, Y, and Z. Now, I'm gonna say this. Titus, my boy, but <clears throat> I'm just not a fan of and I'm just gonna come off wrong because I know, man, I, it just gonna sound bad. But I'm not a fan of men being so insecure to the point where they can't control their rage and anger. Like, it's just, it, it's just not cool. You know what I'm saying? Like, do men have insecurities? Yes. Is it okay for men to have insecurities? Of course. But should a man be so insecure where they cannot control their anger and their rage and you just they just start lashing out, especially over something that you have said, you and your wife said y'all moving past, y'all done with that, part of y'all life, y'all moving on together. It just kind of bothers me, you know what I'm saying? Because I don't know, it's just like, it's better ways to deal with insecurities, in my opinion, you feel what I'm saying? But. Nevertheless, he went off and did what he did, and I ain't even I wasn't even mad because I can't even stand him more. So, you know, that was that. So anyway, moving on. We'll get back to more in a minute. Um Roderick, <clears throat> he pulls up on Bella, let Bella know that basically her little punk boyfriend, baby daddy laying cows and beat him up and you know, she playing nurse, and next thing you know, he showed, you know, he showed a video or whatever the case is. And he was just like, he gonna expose Lancaster on his show. And she was like, you know, maybe that ain't the best idea. We should think about this. We can give him pay money and yada, yada, yada. So the whole time I'm thinking to myself, man, his health is like so blinded with her love and fantasy of being with uh, Mayor Lancaster. She missing out on this golden opportunity that she has. Like she sincere has dirt on him. So, the show goes on, and I'm sure Evan Lancaster had something to do with, um, oh man, with uh, Roderick losing his job at the network. So the exposure on television kind of went out the window. So Bella was like, trust me, I got this. Um, you know, let me put the plays in the motion. So she done hit uh, Mayor Lancaster up, talking about something, come holla at me, your son missed you, you wanna see you, so Evan come over there, Hakeem, Hakeem, Hakeem. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you, I do have a problem with these writers on these shows. 
They just had to give, first of all, they gave the Pure Four and the Carlisle, I mean, the Lancaster door the names to run. And they just had to pick the second most popular Hispanic name behind Jose, which is Hakeem. Like, we could have thought, like, the boy is mixed. He could have been named Jordan or Michael or something. Like, he could have been. I know he Hispanic and whatever, but you could have gave him a black name. That's all I'm saying. His dad is black. So, anyways, um, he comes over and obviously the little boy is not there. And basically, it just turns into the dumbest, simple-minded is black male of all time. She asked for uh, how much did he? I put him. This, this helper asked for seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars, as well as the airport concession. Now, me personally, I don't know what even finances are. I would like to believe that seven hundred and fifty k. If you ask for seven hundred and fifty k, you might well may ask for a meal. I'm sorry, that's just like I just like somebody coming up to you and say you got seventy five cent. No, sweetie, ask me for the dollar. You know, what I'm saying? do you want three quarters or do you just want a dollar? You know what I'm saying? Now, nah, but but you know whatever. And basically, he trying to play a psychological game with her and tell her like, you know, you sure you want to play this game? You know, it's a big dog game. Are you really sure you want to play this game? And for me, I'm just saying to myself, I'm I don't know if she gonna be strong enough to see this to see this through. You know what I'm saying? Because all he gotta do is just whip it out one time and try to sleep with her, and you know, talk about how he gonna leave his wife and all that, and she gonna be back. You know what I'm saying? In his good graces or whatever. So we got to see how that gonna play out. But that's the plan for right now with him. Not to mention. Evan is in a situation because earlier in the show or later in the show or whatever, Greg Peters popped up on him and basically said he wanted writing that he gonna, you know, get the uh, airport concession. And um, basically Evan um, was like, I don't know what kind of deal you done struck with my wife, but I ain't involved with that, yada, 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 but I will, but if you know, if you keep my, if you leave the banks alone or leave Thelma's place alone in the banks and just build around that or whatever the case is, you know, I'll maybe use my influence to help you get it. So, Peters, first of all, Peters went back to talk to Stephanie and basically like, y'all get on the same page and, you know, they slept together and obviously every episode somebody got to have sex. I mean, good Lord, it's, it's like we can't have not one episode without sex and and uh, I'm not attracted to even nobody on the show that much the way I just want to watch them have PG sex on TV. Like, I'm just not. So, Peters basically was like, you know, is that a thread? Like, you know what I'm saying? I, and Peter told me, he said, I need the other place in the entire bank. So, we're going to see. I don't know what Land Castle going to do by that airport concession because if I'm him, Greg Peters is gonna get it. He gonna figure out a way to get Bella back on his side and all that type of stuff. So it ain't even, it ain't even nothing to talk about there. It, 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 it ain't. So anyways, moving on, um, Marilyn, which is Stephanie Frat's sister, who she blackmailing because she trying to get the girl husband to bring his energy plants or whatever that Atlanta and yada, yada, yada. She come try to pull a fast one on Stephanie and tell Stephanie that she is uninvited um, to her summit and all that good stuff. And Stephanie was like, that's what you think. I'm pulling up, me and my daughter, and when we pull up, you be ready to greet us with a smiling face. So let's just go ahead and get to this whole summit scene. Um, basically, this, like I said, this, you know, this, this wasn't one of the best episodes, but you know, every episode can't be great. So basically at the summit, um, it seems as though Rondell and Amora are gonna hit it off because they, they, they hate Stephanie. So Rondell basically tells Stephanie, I mean Amora how apparently maybe Stephanie, uh, her brother and Greg Peters are in cahoots together. So not Stephanie got a lead that she can, you know, look into and also Daphne name came up. 
Um, also at the summit, uh, 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 Maryland's, you know, trying to be dirty and spilled um, some wine on Stephanie's dress. And uh, Stephanie went in the bathroom to wipe it off and this thing there. She caught her daughter and, and daughter pure, the pure for a daughter coming out of her bathroom saw together. So that turned into a nightmare. And ultimately that led to an argument. And um, and uh, she slapped the daughter. And basically, basically, you already know, man, it's going to just uh, leave. going to be some leverage that they have over Stephanie because, you know, the whole lawsuit thing going on. And Stephanie says that she don't care whether her daughter gay or not, but she just can't be in love with that girl because of everything they got going on. Um, also, while they was at this whole... Uh, Gala or whatever it was, uh, Stephanie, she, somebody, one of the waitresses or whoever slipped some of her drink, so it ain't hit until she got home and she passed out. Um, that's, uh, I'm trying to see back. So this episode wasn't that good, man. I'm reaching here. Um, we find out that maybe the pure for her daughter is not really into the land castle daughter because the mama told her to keep working her until she can get something out of her. So that's a that's a that's an angle that I'm kind of interested in because I thought that all from the get go. But it, who's to say, man? When you know, I ain't I ain't no woman and I ain't no lesbian, so I can't really speak. But it seems like the lesbians they be falling, they be falling hard, man. You know, I it, 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 it I just want to see like it seems like they just fall hard. Um, so anyway, that's pretty much all that happened now. Um, Evan the sex scene with uh Daphne went wrong. He talking trash, she left him there all tied up. Blah Jay, blah Jay. And um the show pretty much ended with Rondell and Kent <clears throat> um talking about how in order to be the car loud, you gotta think like a car loud and um, you know, all that good stuff. So <sighs> I just don't know about this episode. It was kind of dry. That's kind of what took me so long to do the review. Cause I came home for lunch and I, I thought about doing it then, but I was like, hey, it wasn't really that great of an episode. So, you know, no rush, you know what I'm saying? But um, hopefully next week we can get popping, man. But um, around later in the week, if I have time, I'm gonna upload my green leaf and power predict season prediction videos. That's what I'm gonna do later in the week if I have time. Cause I gotta got a little got a little workload this week. But it um nevertheless, like I said, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. Everybody be sure to leave me a comment, like, share, and I'll see you guys next time. My right, peace.